Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana and today I'm going to be watching the Jujutsu Kaisen movie trailer as well as the season 1 trailer for Chainsaw Man and I'm so freaking excited! So the Jujutsu Kaisen movie trailer just dropped yesterday. I had no idea that they were dropping it. I found out about it on my stream and literally I, I just didn't believe people when they were telling me that the trailer dropped. And also for, train, for Chainsaw Man, I have heard a lot of good things about it. I have no idea what it's about other than the fact that I think the main character is like has like some chainsaw on his head but it's being produced by MAPPA and the manga is already so so popular without having an anime and so there are very very high expectations I, I can't wait to watch this trailer it's been out for a couple of weeks already um, but I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to react to it and get it on camera and I'm finally doing it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy and here we go. Okay, I think we should watch the Chainsaw Man trailer first. Leave Jujutsu Kaisen for last, yes? I have high hopes for this! Blood. Whoa! The teeth! Okay. The animation already looks so good. Oh. Do they all have pointy teeth like that? Holy shit. <laughs> what? What? Y'all see that man? That was it? No. No. Okay, wait. I need to I need to go back and watch this. What the heck? Okay, the first thing that stood out to me was the teeth. And also, is chain is the chainsaw man good or bad? I would say like don't say any spoilers. But like, I need to know more about these characters. Love that there's it looks like two guys and then one girl. Love the trios. Wow. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so I think the Chainsaw Man is a good person. It looked like he was like fighting the monsters, whatever they are, um, that the people were running from. And so maybe I think he's the good guy. Mappa always just freaking pops off with their animation. Like, I cannot believe that they're, that they're animating AOT season four and Jutsu Kaisen and now this. But I will say, I hope they're treating their workers better because I heard that they were in some bad working conditions. But damn, that looks so good. Please don't put any spoilers in the comments for this show. I know it comes out later in the year, I'm pretty sure, and I'm definitely going to be reacting to it. It definitely gives me, like, Jujutsu Kaisen vibes, and I don't know if that's because of the animation and, like, the monsters that are in there, um, but it looks... It kind of looks darker than Jujutsu Kaisen. And now... It's time to watch the Jujutsu Kaisen movie trailer. I think this one's short too. I think the trailer is pretty short. So what I do know about the Jujutsu Kaisen movie is that it's based on volume zero of the manga and it's a prequel that has to do with, I think his name is Yuda. I remember how they mentioned in the first season how Yuda was off on his own doing his like own missions, but like I have no idea where he would go and why he would be alone on those missions. So I'm wondering if he's like so powerful that he can do these things alone. Maybe like as powerful as Gojo, uh, which would be kind of crazy because he would be like a second or third year student in present day. Um, I don't know if Gojo is going to be in the movie. I feel like he probably will. Love how I only mentioned Gojo and like none of the other characters, like Nanami. <laughs> I'm sorry. Love you, Nanami. Love you so much. Hope I see you in this, in this movie too. Um, but like my mind is on Gojo right now. <laughs> okay. This is a story of the origin of Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay. What was that ring thing that was falling? What is that? Also, this animation. 
So good. Is that Yuda? Rika Curse. Okay. Rika Curse. And we heard his voice. That was it? <laughs> Mafa. I need more. <laughs> I need more from you. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can be patient. Please take your time. Please take care of your workers. Don't overwork yourself. Please pay them a living wage. Anyways. Okay, what was that ring? It was like, it was a ring with some sort of like diamond or gemstone on it. And it looked like there was also a girl there. Okay, I wonder if that's Yuda's little sister. They were, they both look very young. And then when he became older, she wasn't there anymore. I'm wondering if, if that is his little sister, if she got cursed by like the Rika curse, I think that's what he said. And that was kind of like the catalyst for him wanting to get rid of it, which obviously makes sense. And you know, that kind of reminds me of Megumi and how he wants to get rid of the curse that is on uh, Su Sumiki or Tsukimi. In the trailer as well, he's holding some sort of sword. And so I wonder if the way he uses his cursed energy is kind of like Nanami and Maki and Megumi with how they have like cursed objects that they use. Uh, or like they have objects that have cursed energy. So I'm really, really interested to see how Yuda uses his cursed energy, what this Rika curse is, and yeah. I can't wait. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this. Can't wait to watch uh, these shows and this movie. It's gonna be so, so fun. And I feel like winter of this year for anime is gonna be freaking popping off with Demon Slayer, with Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, and I seriously just cannot wait. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe down below if you'd like to see more reaction videos from me. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.